Hey cuties, so in today's role-playing video, I became school president. Don't trip and fall. Huh? What are you talking about? Girlie, watch out! <laughs> ah! Hey, you can't do that! She can do whatever she wants to do! <laughs> ah! Watch your mouth, dweebs! Ashley can do whatever she wants! Thanks, Ayla! Have fun being bottom feeders at the bottom of the stairs, losers! Principal! Yeah, over here! They pushed us on the ground! Uh, what do you two want? Ashley and Ayla pushed us down the stairs! What? No, we didn't! do something like that. Then why were we at the bottom of the stairs lying on the ground? Because you're bottom feeders. Maybe that's why. Principal, they're physically hurting us and saying mean things. Yeah, you have to stop them. Uh, why are you two doing this? Ha, huh. Mackenzie, be quiet. I am talking to you and Sky. What? You're getting mad at us? But, but we didn't do anything. You're causing problems in the school and it needs to stop. I mean it. It's getting to be too much and it is frustrating. But I am getting sick and tired of this. So you're just not going to do anything about it? No. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this school is totally backwards. Yeah, we need order in this school. Yeah, the president really needs to do something about this. Yeah, the school nerd has literally done nothing as president yet. A few moments later. All right, we don't have all day here. Sorry. Come on, chop chop. <clears throat> Hello, fellow students of Brookhaven. It's your school president speaking to you all right now, aka the nerd. I would like to thank everyone for the support while I've been president. I am withdrawing because it's been a lot of work and I can't handle the workload anymore. I'm sorry and thank you for a great term. <laughs> Don't worry, dear, you've had a good run. But I loved being school president. Is there any way that I don't have to quit? Well, it's too late. You already quit. But I can make a new announcement saying I don't want to quit. Remember, you had no choice but to withdraw. You were making too much noise. It's unfair. I was forced to withdraw, though. You were causing too many problems for you and trying to change too many things. And the rich bullies were upset and complaining, which made their parents get involved, which made things much, much more annoying for me. And it made my job not very fun. Well, that's just great. Great to know that you care so much about the school as supposed to your job. Hey, don't you speak back to me. You'll understand one day when you have a job. Okay, boomer. Hey, I am not a boomer. That is just simply not true. Ugh, brat. Causing me all these problems and extra work and making my job difficult. I felt bad, but now I don't. You are gonna regret being mean to me. Mark my words. Ah, oh, she probably can't even hear me. <sighs> Meanwhile, I became school president. Wow, that has a nice ring to it, girly. Right? And I can totally be your vice president. A hundred percent, and we can actually change the school. Yeah, and like the nerd, psh, her workload was too much. Girl, she didn't even do anything for the school. Honestly, that is so true. We would definitely do a way better job. Yeah, we would be amazing, and then the school wouldn't be like a popularity contest anymore. And there would be no more bullies. Uh, Josh, you're being awfully quiet back there. Yeah, how come you're not excited? Because that is the craziest idea you two have ever had. Do you want people to just bully you more? Is that what you're looking for? What? What is he on about? Why is he being so unsupportive of us? I don't know, but it is so not cool. What do you mean? I'm trying to help you guys. How? Just look at the nerd. Yeah, she was a useless school president. No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, well, I'm confused. Yeah, me too. How? I'm saying she used to be the most popular girl in the school and then wanted to become the school president like her mom was when she was in high school. And then everyone started making fun of her and then she had no choice but to resort to becoming a nerd. That's why she's a nerd. I don't care. I can't see it getting much worse than it already is. Agreed. It can always get worse. Well, nothing's gonna stop us, Josh. Yeah. Well, don't say I didn't warn the both of you. We'll be just fine. Okay. We should probably go now, though. We've got planning to do. Right behind you, girly. Moments later. What? girls doing in here? I hope it's not to complain. No, it's not. Yeah, we're here for a good reason. All right, 
let's hear it then. I want to be the new school president. Huh. And I will be her vice president. It'll be totally perfect. Yeah, we're going to be so good at our job. Are you going to mess with me or cause me a headache? Nope, we'll stay out of the way. Well, that is good to hear. So, can I be the president of the school then? Sure. Yes, I became the school president. You're already starting to annoy me. Oh, sorry. Well, can I be the vice president then? Sure, whatever. Yay, I'm the vice president. Yay, girly, we did it. Yeah, 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 I need you both to chill out. But we just want to be happy. Fine. Woohoo! Woohoo! Uh oh. Oh, you have got to be kidding me right now. Uh-oh. I cannot believe I've been replaced. Someone's a little upset. I mean, she did a terrible job anyways. Well, it will make the big announcement tomorrow. Yay! Meanwhile. I can't believe she's the school president. Out of all people. Argh. Man, I just missed that position so much. It's just so unfair that I was told to resign. Ugh. You know what? I'm just gonna ruin it for them. I don't care. They're not gonna steal my job and then be happy about it. There's only one place left to go. The bullies. Ugh, what do you want, nerd? Yeah, make it quick. I have a proposition for you, Ashley. And what is it? Well, have you heard the news? What news? If you've been telling us you withdrew from the school president is news, you've sadly been mistaken. We already knew that. And if we didn't know, we honestly wouldn't even care to know. So I'm hoping it's something better than that. Because if it's not, you're definitely in for a world of terrible, terrible pain. No, no, it's a different thing. Okay, well then tell me. Mackenzie is the new school president and Sky is her vice president. What losers? Very interesting. Yeah, so can you ruin their lives and make them quit? <laughs> That's funny. Why? Tell her, Ayla. Because Ashley doesn't do anything for anyone. So how about you shut up? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. But thanks for telling us, nerd. Yeah, now move along. Uh, but don't worry. We will definitely ruin her life. Really? Always. Moments later. Josh, guess what? Yeah, Josh, guess what? Please tell me you didn't do it. Please. We did. We did it. Yeah. Just to clarify, can you tell me exactly what you did? I'm the president. And I'm the vice president. Oh, goodness gracious, you've got to be kidding me. Huh? Why don't you sound happy, Josh? Are you serious or are you joking? Please tell me that you're joking. No, why would we be joking? Yeah, why aren't you happy for me? And what about me? I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe you both did this. Like, are you serious? What? What do you mean? I don't know if I can be seen at school with you both anymore. I really do not want to get bullied. And not to mention, I don't want to get kicked off the basketball team. Seriously? Josh! I just don't want to be bullied and have my life be ruined. Oh my gosh, stop acting like a baby. I'm not acting like a baby. Yeah, you kind of are, Josh. Whatever, this is just not going to work for me. We're going to change everything that's bad about the school. And then there's going to be no more bullies and no one being made fun of anymore. I'll believe it when I see it. Until then, we'll just have to wait and chat later. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that is just so lame of him. Yeah, some friend he is. Yeah, totally. A few moments later. Mom, mom, did you hear about the news? What? What news, honey? Oh, you are gonna love this. I am the new school president, and Sky is the vice president. You're joking. No, we totally did it. Yeah, and we're gonna bring change to the school, and it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, we're gonna be an amazing team. No, 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 no. This is not a good idea. Ugh, not you too, mother. Oh no, someone already told you this was a terrible idea, and you still went through with it? Well, maybe. I mean, this is kind of what happened, but it was also Josh, so who really cares? Oh, honey, I can't believe you would do this. This is a terrible idea. What do you mean, Mom? This is an amazing idea. Oh, I can't believe you actually think it is. What? What do you mean? Yeah, Mrs. McKenzie's mom. Why are you proud of us? Oh, sweetheart, I'm just concerned. Why? Everyone makes fun of people who do these things in school. Your social life is pretty much done for. But who cares? And that is totally unfair. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and there's some amazing things to do and people shouldn't be made fun of because of that. Yeah, I totally agree. All right, well, whatever you say, girls. Man, okay, clearly no one supports us. Yeah, this is ridiculous. One hour later. Are we making the right decision doing this? Definitely. Change is hard. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just hope nothing worse happens. Mackenzie, there is people outside messing with my house and playing Nikki Nikki Nine Door and they won't stop. What? Why? Well, what do we do? It's because of you becoming president. Ugh, you did this. You are going to ruin my life too now, Mackenzie. Why are you doing this? Who cares, Mom? We'll take care of it. Ugh, you girls better. Come on, girly. We gotta fix this. Who do you think it is? 
Ashley and Ayla, who else would it be? Oh, great. Moments later. Called it. Yeah, I guess it was pretty obvious. Dweeb number one and two. Nice face, wanna banana. What the heck does that even mean? What do you guys want? It means... Shut up, Ayla. Okay, we heard about your amazing news. From who? No one even knows yet. Except for Josh. Josh knows. What a traitor. I cannot believe him right now. Oh, unbelievable. He is such a punk. And a mama's boy. Don't forget that part. It's like the most important part, honestly. Agreed. Oh, so you guys have been talking to Josh? Why do you care? I'm just curious. That's all. He is so done for if he talks to you guys. Yeah, he's a goner. Anyone who talks to you is. Why are you ruining our lives over being the school president and the vice president? Yeah, just leave our lives alone. It's tradition. That's why. Yeah, and you've been warned. You should have known better. Okay, this is just pure silliness. Yeah, well, we're coming for you too now then. <laughs> That's cute. I'd like to see you try. Honestly, I really would. Because there is no way you come near messing with me. Yeah! And both of your lives will be turned upside down before you can even say who. Who? Who, who? Looks like everything is still the same. Yeah, even better, actually. Yeah, even better. If you want war, we've got you covered. <laughs> Very funny. We'll see who's the last one laughing. Yeah! Come on, Ayla. Let's leave these losers. That's right. Walk away, scaredy cats. Yeah, but we're still coming for you, so watch your backs. We'll see about that. Let's go, Ayla. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna change the school and show them. Yeah, girly, I am so done with their stupid attitudes and meanness. And them just bullying whoever they want to. No, no more. No more is right. Tomorrow is gonna be a new day. And they are gonna be in for a rude awakening. The next day. What are you two doing here? The big announcement. Yeah, you said you would make it today. The big announcement for what? For us becoming president. Yeah, and don't forget you really want me to tell everyone? Yeah, we want everyone in the school to know. Yeah, we are ready for change, but not too much change. Don't forget that. Very little. I don't want any added problems. Oh, you will have less problems. We promise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That better be the case, because if not, we are going to have some serious problems. Come on, get announcing. Ah, uh, if you say so. Students of Brookhaven High, quick announcement. The new vice president of the school is Sky, and the new president of the school is Mackenzie. There. You happy? Yes. Good. Now, out of my office. A few moments later. Oh, don't make it obvious, but look who it is. Oh, no. I hope she doesn't attack. Losers have fun getting bullied. <laughs> Gee, someone is salty. You can say that again, but I guess that was pretty expected. Apparently, the principal said that she had to quit being the school president. Where'd you hear that? I mean, sense since she was pretty useless but still who said that i'm not sure just like words in the hall but i'm like always with you i don't know what you want me to say it's just what i've been hearing huh interesting why you even said it yourself that you're not surprised but i'm confused why you heard it and i didn't well we're different people aren't we but what's that supposed to mean that we live different lives and we don't know the exact same thing always at the exact same times but we still percent of the time together okay well i don't know what to tell you girly okay okay let's just not let our first date be ruined by this we've got to stick together yeah totally we cannot have this ruin our friendship yeah you're totally right about that girly i'm always right that's why i'm president okay let's not go all mad with power you're right you're right i gotta chill <laughs> moments later josh yeah josh we want to speak to you about something um, uh, 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 uh. wow you have got to be kidding me some friend he is yeah he's definitely sus right now which means that he told ashley and ayla well should we like confront him oh 100 let's go find him josh josh get back here yeah josh stop pretending like you don't know us Ugh, this isn't over yet josh yeah josh this is not over. Oh, gosh, they're crazy. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What? You? Yeah, what do you think you're doing? What? What are you talking about, bro? First, you're talking to Mackenzie and Skye about how Mackenzie is the new president, and then Ashley finds out, and then you literally are seen talking to them again the next day. Gosh, really? You gotta be kidding me, bro. What? No, I wasn't talking to them. Gosh, you have to stop messing around. Like, do you want to be kicked off the team? Because that's pretty much where it's headed right now, and it's gonna be out of my hands. I swear, I wasn't talking to them. Then why were they talking to you? Well, I wasn't talking to them. I was just ignoring them. You have to believe me. Seriously, bro. Hmm. Josh. Stay away from my teammate. All he needs is you messing him up and messing up our team. So shoot, get away. We are not doing anything. What the heck? You are so 
fake Josh, little mama's boy. See? Leave, you social killers. We will not. Fine, then we will. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, we've got a lot of changing to do. Yeah, you got that right. A few moments later. Things need to change. We need to fix all of the problems. Otherwise, what are we doing? Nothing. I agree with Kenzie. If we can't fix these problems, then what's even the point? Let me have peace and make my job easier. Well, we're trying to make your job easier, but the bully... There we go again. What? What do you mean? The word bullies. What's wrong with saying that word? Yeah, what's wrong with saying bullies? Nothing is wrong with the word. I just don't want to deal with that issue because it causes me pain and suffering. We had talked about both of you being easy. No problems. Nothing to worry about. But clearly that is not what's going to happen now, is it? How much are they paying you? Excuse me. Don't worry what they're paying me. Wait, so the bullies are paying you? What? No, no, no. No, the bullies are not paying me. Then why can't we put an end to them running the show. Ah, uh, you clearly have not been paying attention to a single thing I've been talking about, have you? We want to make change. Yeah, why haven't you been listening to us? That's right, Sky. She hasn't been. Because I don't have to. You're a student and you have to listen to me. So the bullies are paying you. You have no power, no authority to mess with the bullies, and I mean it. Keep your booties away from them and don't make them mad. Wow, okay, this is insane. No wonder why the nerd didn't do anything. She wasn't even able do. Okay, this long, annoying conversation is over. Please leave. You used to be amazing, but now you're just a fraud. A few moments later. Okay, we are not in a good situation right now. Yeah, we really need to figure something out. But what? There's only two of us, and we're against the whole school. Well, there's probably three of us. Well, who's the third? The nerd. Are you kidding me? Well, no. Sky, she hates us. Well, she might just be upset, and she might want to work with us. Work with us? Sky, we stole her job. And she hates us for it. There is no no way she's gonna say yes. And even if she does, which is like the longest shot ever, she's not gonna help us. Oh, come on, girly. Have a little faith. What's the point of that? Well, because we can't just give up yet. I guess you're not wrong. I'm your vice president. I only want what's best. Just trust me. All right, fine. I'll trust you. Good. Now let's go talk to her and see how she can help. Meanwhile, have you come up with a plan to destroy their lives yet? Wait, whose lives are we trying to ruin again? You're joking, right? You cannot be serious. I forgot. We're always destroying so many lives. It gets confusing after a while. Oh, God, why am I even friends with you? Okay, that was mean. Ayla, we're losing track of the task at hand. I'm just asking for a quick refresher. Ugh, we're ruining the... Oh, I remember now. Wait, then spit it out. We're ruining Mackenzie and Sky's lives because Mackenzie wanted to be school president. Yes, it wasn't that hard to remember since it's literally all we've been talking about. How are we gonna ruin their lives again? I was asking you that before you got all doorknob-like and didn't understand a thing. But I thought that was your job to think. God, you are useless. I will come up with a plan myself. Wait, Ashley, where are you going? Ashley, Ashley! Oh no, she left me behind. Meanwhile. All right, we've got to track her down, girly. Well, we've literally looked everywhere. Think, where is a nerd's favorite place to be? <gasps> the math room, girly. How could we never have got to look in there? Oh, because the math room is so scary. Well, it's the only room that we haven't looked in yet. Oh no, I guess we will have no choice but to go in there. Oh, come on, don't be a cry, baby. I'm not, you know how scary it is in there. Well, duh, but come on, it's our last home. All right, fine, but I am not happy about it. Okay, uh, you first. Me? Why me? Because you presidents go first. That is completely wrong. The presidents literally never go first, so giddy up. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go. Oh my gosh, it's scary in here. Look, Kenzie, she's over here. Hey, nerd. What do you want? We're super sorry. I don't care. I still hate you no matter how apologetic you are, so kick rocks, losers. Well, that was super nice. Thank you. Guess we tried. No, Kenzie, get back here. Look, we feel bad for what happened, but we need your help. Why would I help you? Because you care just as much about the school as we do, and the principal is literally not helping at all. Well, I don't want to help. Well, we want to save the school and have the school not be run by the bullies. Well, I don't care. Go away. Well, at least we tried. Oh, gosh. Well, what do we do now? I have no idea. Well, you're the president. Think of something. Okay, I'll make an announcement today at the theater. Good idea. That'll be the perfect time to say exactly what we need to say. Moments later. Uh, I guess they were trying to help. Maybe I just shouldn't be mad. Plus, they're on my side, not on Ashley and Ayla's. <gasps> Ashley, Ayla! Oh, no. I have to stop them from going through with the plan. Oh, no! Ashley! What? I need you to call off the mission. What mission? You know, the mission of ruining certain people's lives. I still have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, we do, Ashley. We were just talking about. 
about it. Shut up, Ayla. See, you do know the mission on ruining Mackenzie and Sky's lives. We need to call it off. I have no idea what you're talking about, nerd, so I suggest that you leave us alone. Yes, you do. You better do something or else. Or else what? Or else I'll go and tell them about your plans. You don't have all the power anymore. Oh, will you now? Yes, I'm going to warn them right now. Hey, what, what, what are you doing? Shutting you up. Stop, stop. a little while. Have fun, nerd. <laughs> oh, no, the door's locked. Moments later. Ahem. Welcome, everyone. I am Mackenzie, your new president, and this is Sky, your vice president. We are committed to making changes in this school. Step aside, losers. Oh, my gosh, Kenzie. These dweebs are not your new president and vice president. I am. And if you are seen talking to these two, you are going to be expelled and bullied for the rest of your lives and then have terrible jobs because you didn't graduate high school. So if you want your life to suck, then feel free to talk to these losers. If you don't want your life to suck, then stay as far away from them as possible. No, there's no way I'm going to let this happen. Oh, yeah? Then what are you going to do about it? Stop you. Yeah, there's no way you're getting away with this. This is insane. The principal won't let you go this far. Ahem. Attention, students. I regret to inform you, although it is good news in my eyes, but everything Ashley is saying is true. Mackenzie and Skye, you are no longer president and vice president, and if you fight it, you will be expelled from the school. Ha! Told you so. Yeah! She told you so, dweebs! Ugh! Whatever. Come on, Sky. Too bad we don't care, losers. Yeah, have fun being bullied. Oh, yeah? And who's gonna bully us? No one. Ugh! Whatever! A few moments later. Well, at least we tried. Yeah, and failed miserably, that's for sure. Yep. <gasps> help! I'm in here! Is that the nerd? I think she's locked in the closet. Well, should we help her? Yeah, why not? Okay, let me just unlock the door. Oh, Mackenzie! Sky! Wow, you seem happy to see us now. I was rude. I know. And I'm terribly sorry. Okay. Kenzie, come on. Let's just not be too mean. But why would I be nice? She was mean to us earlier. Just listen to me. Ashley and Ayla are trying to ruin your lives. They're planning something right now. Oh, that's amazing of you to tell us. Why do you not seem like you care? Do you not believe me? I'm being serious. Well. Stop being so slow about it. We have to act now to make a plan to stop them before it's too late. It's already too late. Yeah, they took over as president and vice president. Well, we should probably leave here and never come back. Or at least not come back until things are a little better. Okay, let's just go back to my house. Only if you're actually willing to help us now. I am. I am. I promise. One hour later. Okay, well, what are we going to do? I don't know, girly, but it's not looking good. Specifically because we can't just not go to school. I mean, homeschool could work. Yeah, I mean, us three together homeschooling would be pretty fun. Yeah, there's no way getting homeschooled. Just to clarify, that is not happening. Great. We've been there, done that. Should have listened to me from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Thanks for your help, Mom. Well, if your mom doesn't let you, then there's no way my mom will. Ugh, girly, what are we gonna do? I don't know, but we have to figure something out. Okay, but how? Arrest everyone at school and start fresh? I wish it was that easy. Don't we all? Come on, guys. We can't be so negative. Well, yeah, easy for you to say. Well, I exact same boat as both of you. You're not public enemy number one like Sky and I are. But I am public enemy number two. Well, that's still way better than one. Whatever. You either want my help or you don't. Yes, we need your help. Because it's still being in a bad mood. We need her help. All right, all right, fine. George, what are you doing here? Coming to save us, hopefully. Guys, I think this is not good. I think you need to run. Don't be silly. George loves us. Mackenzie? Sky? Yes? Uh, yeah, George? You both are under arrest. For what? George? You both are under arrest for messing with the school. But we never mess with anything. Yeah, we were just trying to save the school. I don't know what you're talking about. I can definitely confirm that they didn't do anything wrong. Well, that's not what I've been told. From who? The school president said you were both damaging a lot of things and doing all sorts of evil things and plotting on their downfall. Of course she did. But they're lying. Let's not make this harder than it needs to be, ladies. I mean, honestly, you know what? I just give up at this point. Don't worry, guys. I'll figure everything out. Don't lose hope. Later that same evening. Okay, we have to figure something out, girly. Quit it. We're trapped here, and we can't do anything about it. No matter how hard we try, Sky. Oh, you two must think that this is so funny. <laughs> yeah, you better believe we do. Yeah, Kale Dweebs have fun being locked away. Just 
just wanted to see you before we run off into the sunset. Have a nice life. Ta-ta. Oh, there's no way I'm letting them get away with this guy. They are so going to pay for this one. But how? I don't know how, but when I figure it out, we're definitely going to make them pay. We need to get out of here, though, and escape in whatever way that we can. I wish it was that easy. It will be once we figure it out. Meanwhile. We can probably let that silly little nerd out. She's probably learned her lesson by now. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, for you to let her out? Well, why me? Because if she goes feral and attacks, she'll attack you and not me. And I am the president, which means you risk your life for me. Oh, so what are we waiting for? We don't have all day here. Okay, uh, nerd, the door's unlocked. You can come out now. Ugh, oh my god, why is she not coming out? Okay, you have to go in there and get her, Ayla. But that sounds scary. Do I have to? You don't have a choice. Now chop, chop. Uh, please, Ashley, can we just call George? No, Ayla, hurry That's it. She has sealed her fate now. She is up to something sus. And people up to sus things get destroyed right away. Meanwhile. Who are you? I am a lawyer. You're a lawyer? I've never heard of you before. Well, I'm new to town. And who are you defending? That's none of your business. Um, well, it actually is if you want to see them. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm defending Mackenzie and Skye. So take me to them at once. Slow your roll down, Miss New Lawyer in town. That's not how we do things around here. Wait a second. I don't want to see my client. Then what do you want? I demand that my clients be set free. <laughs> I can't do that. Only the judge can. Then take me and my clients to the judge. Sure, but it'll be a bit, so go take some time with your clients. Okay. Moments later. Who are you? Yeah, you look super familiar. And I don't recall us asking you for a lawyer. Guys, it's me, the nurse. I'm getting you out of here. Really? We're sneaking out right now? Yay, we are sneaking out. Mackenzie, Sky, shush. Right, right. But uh, how are you going to do it? You are so amazing for coming through like this with us. Yeah, you're the best. Now, let's sneak out however you have planned and take down Ashley for good and throw her in jail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold the crazy vibes, ladies. You're getting way too ahead of a lot of things. Well, so then what's going on? Well, I'm not sneaking you out. Then what are you doing? Taking you to see the judge so we can quickly win this case and free you from jail legally so the police aren't chasing you. Wow, yeah, that's a much better idea. If we win... Which we will because we're going to practice and prep for the next hour until we're perfect. So then we'll go to court and be good or fail. I'm not totally sure. Oh, God, that's great. Well, I guess it's better than just sitting here and rotting away. Thank you, Sky. I'm trying my best here. Well, I mean, it only matters if it works. And it will, hopefully. One hour later. So you're telling me it's one big conspiracy this entire time and you are totally innocent? Yes, that's exactly what we're saying. Yeah, we're innocent. We only want to make the school better. Well, then, if that's the case, then the school needs to be fixed. That's what we want. Well, then, I am letting you free and putting you in charge of fixing it. And don't mess this up, because if you do, I will be very upset. So, we're free to go? We don't have to go back to jail? Correct. I did it! I did it! I won my first case! Woohoo! Time to take full authority! And seek revenge, too! We can't forget that. Revenge is the most important part! I have to agree with that! <laughs> like this is going to be bad. Don't worry, we're only going to be making the school a better place. The next day. Well, where should we start? I'm not sure, but I want to hear people cry. And cry they will, girly. I think we need to maybe chill out a bit and not go overboard. Uh, why do you care about what we do? Yeah, do you have like, a problem with us or something? Yeah, we're only doing this because we have no choice. But don't you want the school to be a better place? I do, but this isn't going to help. You have to believe me. Are you with us or against us? I'm with me sure the school is a better place and this talk right now isn't helping huh sounds like she's against us well that's because you're being bad that's why sky let's lock her up already on it hey stop put me down let's put you in here have fun no please stop stop don't do this have fun in there all right i say we deal with the principal first first order of business the principal's office what are you two doing back here i thought you were arrested the judge let us go and gave us the full to do whatever we wanted to make sure the school is better and improve. And we thought we'd start with you since you're the biggest problem. What? What do you mean? You're fired. That's what it means. So pack your things and leave. But, but, I need this job. We don't care. You're ruining the school. Ah! <laughs> wow, that just felt so empowering. Next order of business? 
It's now more about revenge than making the school better. Ooh, I love to hear that. Moments later. Hello, we're trying to practice. Can you guys leave? No, we will not leave. Yeah, we've got some news for you. <laughs> it's Mackenzie and Skye. We don't have to listen to them. Oh, but you do. Yeah, and why is that? Because we're in charge of the school now. Our second order of business is removing the basketball team. Wait, what? No, guys, come on. You can't do that. Sure she can. She can do whatever she wants. And make sure to tell your teammates it was all Josh's fault. And if you don't, then I'll tell them that they can start a team again as long as you're not on. So, I would suggest telling them. What? Why are you trying to ruin my life? Because you ditched your two besties, and now this is payback. <laughs> Aw, not so tough and popular now, are you? One pathetic soap story later. Arrest them, George. What? No, George, arrest her. You have no power. Oh, I'm sorry, Ashley. She runs the school now. Wait, what? This isn't fair. Arrest her too, George. Enjoy your life. Ta-ta. Oh, you think this is funny? Just wait until my mom gets involved. We don't care. Yeah, we don't care. So have fun for us. Hands behind your back, ladies. I'm taking you into the station. Well done, girly. I could say the same to you. The next day. Ah, finally. Peace. He did it, girly. Best president ever. You got that right. Wait, how did you break free? Don't make us call the police on you. I don't care. I don't want to go to this stupid school anymore anyways. You've ruined it. We made it better. We haven't ruined anything. Well, it'll be just the two of you. No one's coming back here, so enjoy. We will. <laughs>